Good morning. It is Thursday. I haven't vlogged all week. That is because I was away. Not too far away, but I was away kind of just resting and relaxing and getting myself regrouped and just recharged. recharged. Yes, perfect word, babe. It is the earliest that I've ever gone to an event. It is currently 9 o'clock in the morning and I never have ever heard of an event so early in the morning but I'm going to a body shop event for their new British Rose collection and I've never worked with the body shop so I'm really excited. Um, this morning I was having quite a bad makeup day. I was ranting on Snapchat and my you could see it there that my face was just looking extra horrible. I don't know if it's because I haven't removed the hair off my face since the seminar I guess or since I met I'm not sure but my foundation was just looking really dry and I just don't think it's the right fit for me so I was gonna do a first impression on it it's the Guerlain or Guerlain lingerie the Pew foundation I love the brand but this foundation is just not for my skin type I have really dry skin and I feel like it was just looking really dry so I put um, some Estee Lauder double wear powder on top to kind of like mask the color because it's also a little bit too dark on me I got shade 3 and then I sprayed myself crazy with the MAC Fix Plus and Tatcha. Now, it's looking a lot better. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But either way, it's way too dark for me. The color, well, not way too dark. It's a pinch too dark. But when you're this fair, like, you guys, I don't know. But the camera makes me look dark. But when you're my complexion, like, even if it's a pinch darker, it looks really off. Also, don't be fooled. The Sony camera does smooth out everybody's skin. So the foundation may look great right now, but I'm just really nitpicky about my foundation. I'm very anal about it matching and about it looking flawless. So yeah, that's what I'm up to. We are on our way. Well, no, he's not going in, but it's only an hour long, the, the event, and I'm going to be late. So I'm only going to be there for 45 minutes, of course. I'm going to get there at 9.50. It starts at 9.30, but it's not like... How can I say this? I don't know. It's just like a quick breakfast. They're going to do a quick rundown of the products. I've been to lots of events here in New York, and I could kind of just feel out the vibe. So I went super cash today because I could just tell. First of all, it's really early in the morning, and nobody got time for heels right now. And it's kind of chilly, and I just feel like it's an, only an hour long. It's from 9.30 to 10.30, and that includes the breakfast and the product talking. So I know that it's not like a formal event. If it is a formal event, well, I'm going to be embarrassed. That would be hilarious. Because I'm wearing Converse. Maybe you are checking your email at the green light. Oh, shit. Good job. So, yeah. Hopefully. It, I mean, I think it is. I mean, it's at a fancy hotel, the Crosby Hotel. But I'm guessing they rented the space out for our brunch, like, wherever we're going to be having it. So, yeah, I was looking it up on Yelp, and it says, like, everyone's dressed business not even business casual like business and i'm here in converse and a leather jacket and a leather hat but you do what you want when you're popping okay you are a combo bro <laughs> well it's a song so no, i didn't make funny. that up <laughs> you funny i wanted to go to sephora either to change that color of the foundation or I'm still undecided about what i'm gonna do with it also the tom ford bronzer might be a little too light for me i got gold dust and i feel like i got should have got tara mm. I feel like I want to have conversations with you guys. Like, I want to ask you guys questions on, like, relationship topics, gather everyone's answers, and kind of do, like, videos on it. Like, I want to talk about different things, like, like relationships and social media, relationships and, like, just everything, and jealousy and, like, going out to eat. Like, just topics, and then do, like, girl talk and sit down and just, like, maybe, like, say funny things that you guys say or, like, experiences. Kind of like when I used to talk to you guys before. But I want all of us to be in one like i want all of us to give advice so yeah i want to what do you guys think about that do you guys want to like just talk about stuff like not just beauty related things because it's just like how many tutorials can you see on the same look you guys know a lot of my life not everything but you know i choose what i want to share what i want to share and what i don't you know if we we're just speaking generally like when i used to give my advice videos i would just speak generally not meaning that I've been through all of those things. Maybe a friend did, maybe someone, an acquaintance. I saw them go through something and I just know of the story. So every time I talk about something doesn't mean that I'm going through that or that I've gone through it, but I just feel like it's good to just talk about it. Cause some of us, you know, we were talking also in the last vlog how we don't really 
but I can speak for myself. I don't have too, too many friends. And, you know, we were all kind of discussing it in the comments and saying how, you know, I feel like it's the era of being like super social on social media and then super antisocial in real life. And so since this is our outlet and since a lot of young women use the internet as a way of like releasing stress, about talking about their problems, venting, I feel like it's it's okay for us to talk about things. I mean, we don't have to get personal, we could just talk about it. Like what are what are, what is your opinion? What is your opinion on dating right now? What is your opinion on Instagram and dating? What is your opinion on Instagram? What's happening? Like, I just feel like we need to just talk about it because all these changes are happening and we might just be getting used to it and we might not be realizing what's going on. Anywho, I'm wearing um, Salon Perfect lashes. I'm obsessed with them. Love them. I should have picked, well, actually I did pick up the ones I found in Walmart. These are um, the ones that Nicole Guerrero raved about. I purchased them and then I saw like everyone was commenting like, oh, Nicole just talked about those and I had no idea. But I see why she loves them. They're so gorgeous. I went to go pick up the, I think it's 215. And these are the 214. I did get the 215. Is it 215? They're really hard to find ones. The ones that are like crack. Like you find them in Walmart and you literally have to just drop down to your knees and just grab all of them and just run to the cash register. That's how serious it is because they're super cheap and they look so good. Also, I'm trying a new contour today from Fiona Cosmetics. It was a little, it was nice, but I think it was the foundation that was making it patchy. Like I like the color, but it was, it was going on a little patchy. All right, so I'm out. We're gonna get on the highway. Hopefully I get to vlog a little, although I'm already late, so probably won't have time to whip out my camera, but. Hopefully I do. So I'll see you guys in a few. So look, I just put a little bit on my hand. Yes, I brought it with me. And you guys can see shade three is way too dark for me. And way too like warm peachy. Can you guys see that? I mean, it dries very invisible, but for my skin type, I need something more hydrating and something more just like luminous. Cause this is just way too dry. I like very dewy foundations. Like, I've been loving the Lancome again. So, yeah, I just want to show you. This is shade 3. Look at my hands. And look at the foundation. Not a good match. The lady at Sephora saw me looking at the Kat Von D Locket foundation and the Marc Jacobs Remarkable. And she was like, no, no. You don't need something so full coverage and cakey. Like, you need something like this. But I should have just been like, oh, well, you know, I have dry skin. So, maybe the Kat Von D is definitely not. Well, I know the Kat Von D is not going to work. I know maybe the Marc... Well, the Marc Jacobs might work, but something like this with like invisible wear where it's like very like powder like It's not gonna work for my skin, but I just wanted it. I felt bad Like I just wanted to take her recommendation She was like telling me, you know all the things she's all the brands She's worked for and all this stuff, but she just looked at me and like matched me But you know I had bronzer and blush on so you can't really match someone when they have br bronzer on Especially when I have bronzer on because you guys know I go a little ham with the bronzer so I should have known better. I feel really bad and it was a silly mistake because $63 and I have to go through the hassle of like bringing it back and I don't know. It's just, I was, I did it because I felt bad and she was a little older and I just, I wanted to be nice and go with her recommendation. But I should have asked more questions. I should have been a smart shopper. I should have tested it on my skin, but like it was so crowded in Times Square. I just put it in my basket and I was like, you know what? It looks good. Like the bottle, in the bottle, the color looks light. I'm gonna get it and that's it. I'm gonna try it. I do a first impression, but honestly, how embarrassing would it be to do a first impression with this foundation when it's totally not my color? I mean, it's just gonna be very embarrassing. So, um, by the way, I have Kylie on my lips. I got Coco, Coco K, Candy K. I always forget. I'll put it down below, or I'll show you later. I always mix the two up, the Coco and the Candy. It's just the names are too similar for me. I really want to get the lip gloss, by the way. Killing me, I really want all three. I think it's called Like, Literally, and I forgot the other one, but I really want the glosses. Every day I'm checking for them, and no luck. Hi. Hi. Can you just get here? Yes. Oh, hi, I'm Palisa. Hi. 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 Hi
Okay, so we have some of the Body Shop's highlight makeup products. Um, one of their standouts is the All-in-One Insta Blur, which is a really amazing primer. And then we also have the eye primer as well, which is really great for just setting a matte base for any of your um, eyeshadows and uh, foundation. Um, and then we have some of the standout eyeliners, the eyeshadow quads, um, and then obviously the highlights are the British Rose Collection. So these are the shade adjusting drops. These are the foundations. They have tons of colors. They're doing a little product demo. Look at these beautiful flowers. Beautiful. Hey guys, today is Friday. Friday. I would say it's payday, but. I don't get paid on Fridays. Um, that was corny. We're at a local little diner. I'm getting a salad with tuna. We're trying not to eat chicken or meat. Um, we saw this video that was really, really disturbing. I posted on Twitter, well, Carly Bible posted on Twitter and I retweeted it. We watched that yesterday. So we're just trying to live a healthier lifestyle and just try our best to make the right choice. Um, yeah, that video was very emotional for me. Like, it just makes me feel really horrible. But like you said in the video, you know, we've been brainwashed for so long. So, I don't know. It's just like time to make the right choices. So, I'm gonna try to be like pescatarian, you know, like eat fish, shrimp, seafood. Um, but really restrain myself from eating chicken or meats, which is really hard for me because I love chicken. Like, I don't really eat red meat. I never really liked red meat. It doesn't sit well in my stomach. And there's a reason for that. So watch that video. I'll link it down below. I'll tell you this though. Viewer discretion. Pause it. Viewer discretion. Be advised. Viewer discretion is advised because it is so graphic. Don't watch this if you know the day of an event. Like it's you really just feel so emotional after that. It's a long video. It's an hour long. It was just a lot. A lot to take in. So. I, like I said, I don't really eat red meat as is. Like, I don't mind cutting out red meat at all. Like, burgers, I don't really eat. Steak, I don't really eat. But chicken, I really have, like, an, I guess an addiction to. And I want to break that addiction. Just eat more vegetables, eat more fruits. It's not only going to be better for me, but better for the planet. So, yeah. That's what we're doing. But I'm over here with my soda, like, being a bad girl. I'm drinking. I'm drinking Pepsi though, which is really bad. Nothing wrong with being a bad girl, you know. I did a lot of blush, but that's because I was filming, so you have to go a little heavy-handed because it literally does not show up on camera. What else? Oh, my hair is getting really long. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's getting real long. No, he's obsessed with the chess game that he plays now. What is it called? Uh, this is the game he plays chess right there. And he also likes pool, but chess is his thing. I'll see you guys in a few. I can charge his camera. Bye. Tuna salad and a veggie burger. Yum. So I just finished my client. I have the AC bumping because I'm hot and I'm gonna pop an Allegra. I wanna try Zyrtec D, but I've been using this Allegra D for like a week and a half, two weeks, no, like two weeks. And I am so obsessed because New York has me fucked up. Okay, so I'm such a loser. I was looking up how to pronounce this. Annie Goutel. So I just got this package and it came in a bag and it was sent. It didn't come by FedEx or UPS. It was really cool. I had a sign for it, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So it's basically these two designer perfumes. So this is what it says. Dear Rose, enjoy something musky, musk nomad, nomad, and something sweet, petite shitty. Petite shitty. Oh my god, my accent is so bad. Like, I need to learn how to speak French because all these makeup and fragrances are in French. I got makeup on mine, of course. I was just way too excited. I had makeup on my hands. But look how pretty. And I sprayed one spray on each of my wrists and I still smell it, like as if I just sprayed it amazing like I'm so blown away I'm gonna go ahead and open these so I can show you how gorgeous is this presentation so this is a parfum 
and it's 3.4 fluid ounces. This has just changed my whole perfume game onto a whole nother level. So this is the presentation, like how gorgeous is this? And then you take the bottle out, boom, you have like the logo and the name right there. What's in here? So this is like a little card. A passionate woman whose perfumed creations contain the rarest and most noble of essences. A unique olfactory signature that tempts us to dream. Anique Guttal. So that's just like a small little, you know, touch right there. And the inside has like, you know, little felt lining. So fancy. So this is Musk Nomad. 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 It's still soft, but still musky. Mmm, smells so good. Musk Nomad is the fourth fragrance from Les Orient Whoa, Orientalists collection. <laughs> Inspired by the scents of quatrain princesses who use musk and rose essence to perfume their bodies and hair. Added to this feminine scent, aromatic wood smoke from princesses' chambers. Musk Nomad mm. is a supernatural musk created from synthetic and herbal ingredients. A sensual cloud of white musk spreads around the creamy texture of amber. I, smells amazing. I use straight up musk. This, yeah, right? <laughs> my mom uses straight up musk. Good Every time I smell musk, I think of my mommy. Okay, so that's that one. And then this one is the sweet one. They asked me what types of fragrances I like, and I said musky and sweet. So they sent me one musky and sexy and one sweet. So this is Petite Shetty. And look how pretty that bottle is. Gorgeous bottle. Just looks so classic and timeless. Let's go ahead and smell this one. I kind of cheated and smelled them before, but I want to capture this on, on camera. You only need one spray with these. You don't want to overdo it. They are very strong. It's very fruity. Very. Oh, wait, let me smell it. But, but almost smoky. Oh, there's a there's like a, I think, a, a soap, la like a lavender soap. Is a fruity fragrance covered with a ripple of peach and pear, so. drunk with a sense of sensual rose musk, standing oh. royal in its vanilla frame, all sprinkled with a powdery sense of refreshing cut grass. Sweet, Ooh. musky, sassy, mischievous, and perfect for springtime. Petite Cherie was presented in 2008. It opens with juicy peach notes while the heart is enriched with rose and pear. The base contains velvety vanilla. It's yes. very fruity. Yeah. Very sweet. Well, I asked for sweet, so she gave me sweet. Not floral sweet, but fruity sweet. Smells really good. That's Petite Cherie. So now I have two. From France. From France. Anique Goutal. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. <laughs> Thank you so my much. My Petite Cherie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, wait, say something in French. Bonjour. Shout out to my mom's Star of David. Bonjour. Comment what else? Uh, hi. Uh, je suis très bien. Ooh. Au ciao, ciao. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> hey guys, so happy Sunday fun day. It is 5.18. I look hella tired and beat because I am. Last night, I actually got pretty good sleep, but I had um, two appointments, so I'm kind of beat. Sun is blazing, so we're gonna go get something to eat i really wanted this place called noodles what is it noodles factory or noodles something near roseville field mall um but it's five o'clock so getting over there traffic's gonna be crazy so we might just get something else um just trying to find things that you know don't have too much meat oh i'm gonna also go buy some stuff for my kit like i stayed on our double wear foundation now that it's getting hot um, the double wear foundation is good because it doesn't like move. It's super full coverage, but it's like like a mask. Like it doesn't go away. Where I feel like the Too Faced Born This Way was good for the colder months. Now that it's getting warmer, I want to get something a little more waterproof. And I only have three shades in that, so I want to get like four more. So that's what I'm going to go do and get some stuff at MAC. So Sunday fun day, going to eat something because I haven't had anything to eat and it's 5 o'clock. I'm hungry. All right, I'll see you guys in a few. So I got a pesto cavatappi, something like that. And he got the whole green like last time. A little side salad and then garlic bread. And he's still there trying to get juice for like 10 years. But it looks so yummy. And of course, no chicken, no meat. 
We did get cheese, which we're trying to slowly cut out, but it's a process. What do we have here? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is from Violet Claus. Ooh. It's a nice little palette here. Okay guys, this is a, this is a, oh, I love this packaging. It's so cute. These are nice colors, but I'll never use these. I'll use this one, you know, all of this. To this, to all these, you know, all these right here, you know, maybe that one, hmm, who knows, maybe not. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's a great palette. It looks really nice. Nice mirror. Has a, has a little mirror here, a little nice little mirror so you can watch yourself <laughs> as you put it on, you know, it's real cute. Cool. It's $5.99. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's, that's the first package. I already know what you're going to say. <laughs> oh my God. How cool you, babe. You're the best. What? Little samples of uh, Versace. We got Slambox. No, Smashbox. Smashbox. X-rated. You know what that means. <laughs> it's go time when you put this on. This little, little nice little thing here. Okay. A little contraption. We'll put it back in there. We got a little card. I don't know what's this for. Forget that. Favorites. We got a uh, eyeshadow. Eyeshadow by Metallic and Crush. Wow. Thunderstruck. Wow. By Kat Von D. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. And one of my favorite eyeshadows. Yeah, one of my favorite eyeshadows too. We got this little fan brush for highlights. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a brush, new Sephora. The brush number is, uh, looks like 92. Mm -hmm. 90. Becca, once more. I think they sent me a double up. If this is the same blushes, you guys are getting all of these blushes. Because they just, I was just gonna show them the blushes. We got one here. And we got one here. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's, let's... see what's in them. <laughs> <laughs> the first one. Let's see what the hell. Is it happened. like Christmas? It's like, I feel like I'm a kid. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so these are all the new blushes. They're shimmering blushes. But open that one. Is this the old package or the new package? We'll see right now. I think I got doubles. Oh my gosh. Becky, look at her butt. Everybody, have you guys watched the Lemonade by Beyonce? I haven't actually watched it. I've just I'm been watching it on, on Instagram. Yep, that's the old box. Damn, the box is crazy. Yep. Whoa. Okay, so we're gonna do a giveaway. Giveaway on Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram. Um, I'll be doing a giveaway with these blushes because I have doubles. I'm oh. so excited for the color Tiger Lily. Nice, nice. <laughs> How do people do it on YouTube when they show a product? They put their like hands. This right here. <laughs> It's new eye blush. Eye blush? <laughs> <laughs> this is eye blush. Okay, Maybe there's such thing as an eye blush. Oh, wow. Is that right? Nice. It's cute, it's cute. It's a nice color. They have like highlights built in to the blush. No way. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It must be crazy. They're $34. Um, Sephora and Ulta. Cool. Thank you, Becca. You guys are the best. Becca. Goddamn makeup. This is a waste of paper right here. Look at this. What is this for? What the little. Yeah. It's so it doesn't break. Oh, no, I mean, yeah, I guess. Uh, this is some lip. Oh, lip, that's uh, not what I ordered lipstick. then. Lipstick. Oh, they're new, they're new lipsticks? Or Colourpop. All right, let's see, let's see. Calm down, calm down. I ordered um, all of their eyebrow stuff. Well, not all of the colors, but like, oh my god, yeah, that is a waste. Um, you know, I mean, the recycling. At least they're gonna be recycled, you know? We're all recyclable people here, okay? We're ready for it? Yes. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I already saw this on. Oh, some Japanese type style right <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Ooh, that's sexy. Wow, it looks like Crayola. Crayola? By crayons. No, those are their lippy sticks. Oh, I saw Katie Luster look some. Wow, look at this. Wow. That's what you guys do right here. Swatch it, swatch it. Wow, look at look at the color on my skin. Wow. That's let me flawless. see your swatch. Flawless. Wait, stay still. Nice swatch. What color is that? It's uh No, the name. Oh. 
You were gonna make up something. It's like a orangey peachy. Uh... It's uh, topless. Topless. Yep. So these are their new matte lippy sticks because the lippy sticks are not matte. The ones that they already have is the most matte out of all of our lippy sticks babies. This formula, nice. Yep. Super yep. matte finish. Super it's so sexy. We had to give it an X rating. Damn. Nice. I like that. Out of control, it has a silky powder that gives the lipstick a lightweight feel. I love the names of these brands though. Obviously. Climax. Oh, nice. Uh huh. Nice. Give me another one. Give me another one. Nice. Pillow talk. Mm, we don't like those. Why? Come on, baby. Drake said, you know what he said. Is there any nudes? Any nudes? Mm. Back up. Back up. Yeah, back up. Back up on it. Yeah, back up. That's on. a nudie one. It's a nudie, yeah. It's a nudie, nudie. Pillow talk. Yeah, I figured pillow yeah. talk would be a nice nude. <laughs> What's your skin color? You're like a the NC. Skin color is like a, like a NC. Like a combination. Forty. Of NC thirty-five. Yeah, facts. Flawless skin, of course. Look at that. Nice. It's a nice color. You already wiped off the other one. Right. Pillow talk is probably the one that I'm gonna most use. I like the packaging too. The packaging is dope. I like. Oh wait, there's two rows. Yeah, there's two rows. Yeah, this one is. Ooh, she's bad. I like this one right here. You heard? Let me put that on my hand right quick. Look at, that right there. Look at the colors, ladies. Look at the colors. I know you guys are going crazy at home right now. I know. It's, I know you guys are going crazy. Trying to. Uh, you know. You feel me? Was that one? She's bad. She's bad. Oh, this one is a uh, a primer. Even though a primer, bring up on uh, a primer. Oh, well, they send the primer. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Dope. Cool. Dope. Thanks, ColourPop. ColourPop, you number one. It's dope. I like it. Oh, Can't I had go. already opened this. Can't go wrong with these Lily Lashes. They're you brand new ones. They drive me crazy. And oh, you got the Mama Duke of all. <laughs> Those are my favorites. The Mama Jams right here. What are they called? My Conos? Mykonos. Oh, Mykonos. You don't watch my videos. Oh, no, I don't. No, I don't. When I'm sleepy, I go, oh, watch it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, babe. Well, it's Mykonos. I want to go to Mykonos. It's in Greece. Fellas out there that go shopping with their girls. Uh-huh. God bless y'all. So I got to say, I feel your pain. We got the Mac Prime. I'll hold it. The Prep and Prime. Prep and Prime by Mac. Let's see what the hell's going on in here. Wow, it's just water. <laughs> water. It's okay. fixed plus. Okay, they gave you. It's they, glycerin they and water. water. And they told you something else. Nice, Mac. You guys are you guys are really outdoing yourselves. Outdoing yourselves. Oh, another brush here. This looks like a contour brush. No, she, the lady sold it to me yesterday. Number one seventy. One seventy. She she sold it to me. She said that it's the best. Brush for foundation and concealer. Like they were really going hard with that. It's a sales job. You cannot forget that. They're trying to sell you a product. I almost threw out my 221 brush. That's one of my favorites. 221. I finally have a second one. Yeah, Perfect for small eyes. Small um, hooded eyes. And then I got this one. The uh, 197 SH. This is actually a short brush. I saw Angie using it to cream contour. So... I got that, and I got uh, some mascara. Then they play Giggle Black. I repurchase this over and over and over and over again. There we go. We got Macy's bag. Wow, this is a heavy one here. You're with me. What we got here? More makeup. What a surprise. This is for my kid. Estee Lauder, ladies. Estee Lauder. Can't go wrong with that, right? Double wear foundation. Colors are Spiced Sand. Next one is Honey Brown, bon, the bonds. Bronzer. <laughs> honey Bronze. Yeah, bronze. We got Taiwani. Tawny. Taiwani. No, Tawny. And uh, somebody's interrupting me as I'm doing this. Cashews, mmm, yummy, cashews. Gosh. Delicious. And we got little samples for them. Oh, she gave me samples? Little cute little samples there. Nice. Night repair, night repair. Shout out to um, Estee Lauder Double Wear. I mean, Estee Lauder Macy's and Rose of Your Mall. She gave me all of these samples. She offered to give me these samples of all the new shades, so I can use these in my kit. 
Ooh, this one's nice. Rich mahogany. So that was really sweet. She went above and beyond. Probably because I was buying four foundations. But she didn't have to. And that was very sweet of her. Yep. Super sweet. Super sweet. We call good salesman. Thank you so much. That's all. For this vlog. That's all for this vlog, yes, correct. That's all for this vlog, man. Um once again, shout out to all the fellas out there that stand around looking like idiots, waiting for your girlfriend to pick out the makeup or the brush that they want. Goodbye. Kissies. I'm gonna do the Sammy Sosa kissy though.